I've been reviewing Uniqlo for the last few years now and Uniqlo U has always been one of my favorites to review. So I went online and I placed my order so I could give you a full rundown. For reference, my measurements are here for you. I'm usually a size 26, size 4, extra small or small in Uniqlo, but I will occasionally size up when I want a looser fit. This video will be split up into two sections. First is going to be everyday wear and then the second part is going to be more active wear. Before we begin, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into it. First up are the crop parachute pants. These are made out of a cotton nylon blend fabric. They feature a lightweight material that's super comfortable, so I've actually been wearing these around the house a lot when I work from home. They have a loose fit, they're cropped, and by the way, I'm 5'4", and the length is perfect on me. For a casual pant, I feel like these have a very chic profile with the front pleats and the slant pockets. They do have buttons at the bottom so that they can be tapered. I like wearing these tapered because I feel like it flatters my leg a lot more, um, but if you prefer a straight leg, you can definitely wear them that way as well. These are great for casual days, but depending on how it's styled and where you work, they can certainly pass off as office wear as well. I forgot to mention that I'm wearing a size small in these, and like I said, usually I'm a size 26 or a size 4 in Uniqlo. These feature a very comfortable waistband, which I think is excellent, but unfortunately they don't have belt loops. They do look great either way. I decided to tuck in my shirt for this look just because I'm going to be putting on a trench coat over top, but I'll show you that in a second. All right, so the next item that I wanted to review is the Uniqlo U crew neck t-shirt. I'm wearing a size small in this, and this is in the black color. I do have a couple in the white ones that are an extra small. I picked them up over the winter and I use them primarily as layering pieces. The quality is so good and they are excellent for layering. They do fit true to size by the way. For reference, I am quite curvy. I don't like to show off my bust too much so I do generally prefer pieces that are a bit more relaxed on my body. It's all about comfort level. If you feel like you want more of a snug fit then size down. If you want a slightly looser fit, I would say size up with this t-shirt. This is an excellent everyday t-shirt and they come in 11 colors by the way. I do wash mine in cold water and then I hang them to dry because I want to preserve them. I know that the dryer eventually starts to break down materials. Even though they're affordable it doesn't mean that I'm going to just use and abuse them. I definitely want to preserve the items that I have regardless of how much or how little they cost. For a casual day I styled the parachute pant and the Uniqlo U t-shirt with a classic trench coat. This one is from Reformation. I got it a couple of years ago and I do think they have a similar one on their website right now so I'll link that below for you. For the shoes I went with the new Tabby Ballet shoes in the Bianchetto style. Since Uniqlo U is designed by Christophe Lemaire, I felt it was appropriate to add a little Lemaire touch in this outfit. I picked up this net bag a couple of weeks ago. It was an exclusive to their website and to their stores. I just think it is the perfect spring summer bag, especially as I go around to like markets and different things like that for the weekend. It's a great bag to have with me at all times. It's just a very chic, lightweight piece. So overall, this outfit is casual, perfect for spring days, and easy, very comfortable as well. So let's move into the next items that I picked up. We have these cotton jeans from Uniqlo U. So I ordered these online and I got really confused about my size in Uniqlo for some strange reason. And I accidentally ended up ordering a size 27 instead of a size 26. Either way, I'm really glad that I did because I absolutely love the fit of these. Now, here's where body type really comes to play with the Uniqlo U collection or with fashion in general. My Kibbe body type is a soft classic, so that means that I have curves, I have an hourglass figure, and because of that, a lot of pants just kind of fit me wrong around the hips. I found that sizing up actually really helped here because it didn't feel so tight. I have a little bit more room with the size 27 and even though the waist is a little bit looser at least on the hips it does feel very comfortable so if you have narrow hips then i would say go true to size if you're not as curvy if you don't have an hourglass figure i would say true to size but if you are on the curvier size then you might want to size up on the website it says that these are black but they're more of a slate gray in my opinion like I said, these are 100% cotton. 
These jeans are high-waisted, which I think is very flattering. They have a wide straight leg, or a loose leg, I should say, and they're also long, so if you are tall, then you are probably gonna like these jeans. I'm 5'4", so I had to cuff mine two times in order to get them to be ankle grazing, so I'm probably gonna take these to the tailor and have the cuff done up nicely. Overall, I love how these fit. Some people tell me that wide leg jeans look terrible on me and they make me look shorter, but you know what? We're all entitled to our own opinion and I love how they look. All right, next up, I wanted to show you this long sleeve Arism t-shirt. So this is a unisex item and I got it in a size extra small. It's made out of cotton and recycled polyester. It feels very lightweight and breathable. When I originally bought it, I thought this would be a great piece to wear to the gym, but when I tried it on with the jeans, I realized how cute the fit of this shirt actually is. It's got drop shoulders, relaxed sleeves, and it has that iconic La Mer silhouette. It's very flattering and comfortable, and it comes in six colors, extra small to 3XL. I have to say, this is another excellent wardrobe staple from Uniqlo. I styled it with a black blazer over top to elevate the look, and then my new tabby ballet shoes. This look is super comfortable and it's so cute. Best of all, it's a very functional outfit, which is how I like my clothes to be. Oh, by the way, I styled it with the small croissant bag from La Mer. This is probably one of my favorite bags in my collection. Let me just start by saying how much I hate buying gym clothes and I'm not a fan of wearing tight clothes to the gym either. So a lot of the times I'll go to the gym wearing sweatshirts, t-shirts, sweatpants, any of the clothes that have transitioned out of my everyday wardrobe get transitioned into my gym wardrobe for a second life. I mentioned this because so many of the fabrics that I have in my gym wardrobe are heavier fabrics and not very breathable. With that being said, summer is just around the corner so I thought this would be a really good time to invest in breathable fabrics for the gym. Let's start off with this Uniqlo U volume sleeve cocoon blouse on jacket. I got this one in a size extra small and this is a unisex item. I have to say that I absolutely love Uniqlo U outerwear. I just find it to be really practical and also very chic and very effortless as well. In my opinion, this is a style that La Mer does so well. I love how I can wear something like this to the gym and I could wear it out as outerwear as well. I tried on the gray one in the store and I loved the fit of it, but I didn't love the charcoal gray color. It's kind of surprising for me because I generally do go for darker colors. It's fully lined, which is actually very impressive to see. It's got side pockets, it's got a breast pocket, which does zip up so I could put my glasses in there when I go to the gym. Some other nice details about this jacket is that it's cinched at the cuffs and at the hem. That creates a really nice rounded cocoon silhouette. The front pockets fastened with buttons and they are pretty deep pockets so I find this to be really convenient for carrying around my iPhone. The snap collar lets you wear it as a stand collar which is a nice detail because it elevates the look of the jacket and it changes it up as well. There's a tonal zipper and snaps which are a nice touch. I mentioned that this jacket is unisex. Something that I like to do when I'm out shopping is check out both men's and women's because you never know what you're gonna find, especially with the Uniqlo collaborations like Uniqlo U. They're really good at offering pieces that are unisex for both men and women. So if you're open to it, I would say check it out. You might have a more extensive wardrobe because of it. Okay, let's move into the leggings in this look because this is another item that I wasn't originally sure about. Like I mentioned, I generally wear sweatpants and joggers to the gym. I read online that these run small, so I was kind of unsure about what size to get, especially since a lot of the leggings fit tight around my hips. I ended up trying them in store and the size small fits perfectly. It features a high waistband that's stretchy and very comfortable. I thought the fabric was gonna be heavy, but these are part of the Arism collection. I put them to the test at the gym when I went running on the treadmill for 2K and I'm very happy to report that they didn't ride down or ride up. They definitely stayed in place. They felt very cool on my run and they were overall very comfortable. The only thing with the design of this legging is what they call the anti-slip open heel and toe design. Getting my socks over this did take a little bit longer. Overall though, I love these leggings so much and I'm definitely thinking about getting a second pair, especially now that they're on sale. So the other item that I got from Uniqlo U was the backpack. 
I was very excited to see this in the spring summer lineup because my husband and I are such a big fan of the drawstring bag. I wanted the backpack for the gym or for hiking. I think the two-way design is brilliant and it doubles as a tote bag and as a backpack, but I found that the strap is just barely long enough to put under my arm. If I carry it as a tote bag in my hand, then the backpack is too long and it drags on the floor. It's probably because I'm 5'4 and taller people won't experience this, but for me, this is definitely a design setback. So back to why I do like it as a backpack. It has plenty of storage. It has pockets on both sides, which is perfect for water bottles or foldable umbrellas or anything of that nature. The large external pocket has a snap closure on either side. It's great for keeping things like notebooks or iPads. Overall, this is a great bag for what I intend to use it for and very on brand for Uniqlo U. I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear from this bag during my gym days. This next outfit features the Uniqlo U utility hooded jacket. I got mine in the light gray color and in the size extra small. This one can be found in the men's section, by the way. Unlike the blue on jacket, this one can be cinched at the waist thanks to the elastic adjusters. It's got roomy exterior pockets with a flap that offers plenty of storage. According to the Uniqlo website, the casual design is inspired by fishing jacket designs. It's made of 75% cotton and 25% nylon. It's very comfortable and it's super lightweight. The hood cinches at the top so in the event that you are stuck in the rain, it's not going to blow off. But then again, it's not water repellent, so you're not going to be wearing this jacket in the rain anyway. This is a great style overall. It's super cool. I would give it 10 out of 10 for function and design, but 6 out of 10 for materials because again, it's not water repellent. Next up is the Arism Long Sleeve T-shirt. I was afraid that this one was going to be really tight and uncomfortable. Like I said, I don't really like wearing tight clothes to the gym, so this is something that I would generally stay away from. I had originally ordered a size up and I got a medium in this shirt because I was afraid it was going to be too tight. Upon receiving it though, I realized that it was too big and I ended up exchanging it for a size small. I have to say that this item does fit true to size. It's not nearly as tight as I originally thought it was going to be and it is a bit roomy around the torso, which is nice. It's actually a very cute shirt and it's incredibly flattering as well. I really like the thumb holes a lot. It keeps me cool while I'm working out, which is exactly what I wanted this top for. This is the matching top that goes with the leggings, by the way. If you're somebody who likes tighter fitting clothes when you're working out, this would be a super cute set. So I paired the long sleeve t-shirt with the Uniqlo Arism joggers. Since I'm such a big fan of joggers for my workouts, I thought that this was going to be a good style to review for you. They are part of the Uniqlo collection and not part of Uniqlo U but I wanted to review a full Uniqlo workout outfit for you. I just want to quickly mention that a lot of these items are currently on sale. I had bought everything while it was regular price, so this must have just happened. I'm crying a little bit, but at least I got a chance to try some stuff and review them for you. Now you can take advantage of the sales and pick some of the stuff up for your everyday wardrobe or for the gym. Everything is gonna be linked down below, of course. Thank you Uniqlo for sponsoring this video. Thank you all of you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video if you found it helpful. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.